Hello and welcome to another video on my advanced manufacturing edition. I'm Dean West from Leverage Technologies. Today we're going to have a little bit of a look at MyAB's Bill of Materials capabilities. Uh, the Bill of Materials in, in MyAB Advanced Manufacturing Edition has all the main elements that you would expect, including routing steps, work centres, machines, outside processing, um, overheads, uh, scrap actions, back flushing, um, phantoms, batch sizes, and more. We're not going to touch on every element that I just described, but certainly we'll touch on some of the main ones. So in the background here, I have opened a, a, a bill of materials for a FG Assembly 001 component. It's currently on hold, uh, which means we can't use it, but it is, a, it is a live bill of materials in the sense that it hasn't been archived or obsoleted. So we have operations. In this particular system, we've got uh, three operations, operations 10, 20, and 50. Each operation uses a work center, and a work center applies uh, the labor cost and also has the ability to apply machine cost. So under work center 2050, it's a gear hobbing operation. I've got a setup time of 30 minutes. I've got a run units of one unit in a run time of four hours. And basically what that means is every time I need to make one unit, it's going to take four hours once I've completed my setup. I can also include machine cost through the machine units and the machine time. And in works at a 50, I've actually got an example set up there where uh, I have a setup time of 10 hours, a run time of one hour, sorry, one unit in eight hours. And I'm also drawing in one uh, machine unit in eight hours and that will also add the cost of the machine from the assembly work center to the cost base. If we look at operation 10 and drop down into the bottom half of the screen we can see that we have a series of materials that are being added op gear and flange 001. So in this particular instance op gear is marked as a subcontract item which we're going to purchase. So this is an outside processing step. We're going to purchase this op gear operation from the subcontractor. That is what they're doing for us, hobbing this gear. I'm also shipping a product called Flange 001 out of my inventory straight to the vendor as a free issue item. When I come to the outside processing tab, I can also see that this operation is flagged as outside processing and this is the supplier that I have chosen for the for the project or for the job. The system also has the ability to create shipping documents to send the product to the supplier um, and receiving documents to receive the work in progress or finish goods back from the supplier under the production order along with the uh, purchase orders and accounts payable bills which will be required to take care of the financial side of those transactions. We have a very brief look at Work Center 20, or 200 rather. We can see what it's made up of. We can see that there's some shift information. There's a standard cost base, which currently is set to zero, so we can change that to 50 if we want. It was set to zero in this particular instance because it was outside processing and we weren't doing any internal labor. We have uh, a calendar, which is used by the planning system, and a labor code, which is used by the uh, accounting processes in the background. We can assign overheads, machines, do where used analysis, and look for substitute work centers. Overheads are a very simple process, but they're very powerful. They allow us to assign uh, overheads either at a work center level, i.e. they'll be applied to every bill of materials that uses that work center, or at a bill of materials level. level. This warranty overhead that I've just added is effectively calculating and adding five cents per dollar of material cost that is being consumed by this production order. 
So for every dollar of material that is going to be issued to this production order, five cents will be accrued into a warranty holding account and uh, added to the cost base for the finished uh, product, uh, manufactured item. So you can build up a little bit of a war chest if you need to. We can also add steps, which are freeform descriptors per operation ID and come up on the traveler card. Um, and we can add tools, which are relatively uh, useful things in that we can add a, an amount of cost against a cutting blade tool, for example, which will go to the cost base of the unit and once again build up some funds to purchase a replacement cutting blade against. So that's bill of materials in a nutshell. The only other thing that's worth discussing right now uh, are back flush and scrap action capabilities. So in both cases of labor and materials, in my advance, you can choose to back flush either or both. And um, from a, a, a materials point of view, we can build in a scrap factor. And from a scrap action po point of view, we can uh, drive different approaches to what we do with that scrap, such as quarantine, write off or no action. So at a high level, that's bill of materials, but let's have a little bit of a look at the uh, bomb compare functionality in my Hive Advanced. So if we go and find the bomb we were just looking at, which is bill of materials number 45, and we look for 43, which is an earlier version of it, we can bring the two bills of materials into uh, one single screen and you can see that we're getting a lot of crosses and exclamation marks and some green ticks. The crosses are things that are different between the two bills of materials. So uh, in BOM 45 we had a Operation 10 which didn't exist in BOM 43. Um, whereas under Operation 20, op machining exists in both bills of materials. So we can get a very quick and easy look at how two particular bills of materials compare, which can be used for further analysis. Finally, if we do, if we have a bit of a look at the um, uh, multi-level bomb report <coughs> for bomb 45, we can get a, an understanding of how the uh, costs are going to roll up. We're going to do a costed bomb report, or costed report, we can see that the uh, costs roll up into a total cost of $2,225.95 and they're built up at each operation step. And we can see you know, all sorts of information here about the production process. So that's a very quick look at bills of materials in MIB Advanced. I hope that's useful. Look out for the next video. Thank you. Bye.